So as usual, I'm just going to wait until the notification tells me that I've gone live. And I start most of my streams this way, and I just want to clarify that I don't believe this is a fault with either PlayStation or with YouTube. It's more the organic matter between the controller and my chair. So that's why I do this, simply because it did cause me quite a lot of trouble when I was going through a series. So I was playing The Last of Us, and two hours worth of gameplay that doesn't get shared is something that you just you can't miss out of a series. And it wasn't too bad in the early days of the game, but as you got further into it, it's quite difficult to catch up within a week. So that's why I do this. Um, now, I've placed my camera in the top left-hand corner, simply because in this game, the mini-map's in the bottom left, and I have my ammo count in the bottom right. So that's why I've been doing this. So, as always, I'm going to just keep looking at YouTube, see what it has to say, see if I get any notifications, so I am live. Yes, most certainly, so hello you beautiful people. Now at the moment I'm just playing through a few games and showing you the different photo modes, different style of photography that you can do based on the game that you're playing. And this one is in a dead world, so can you still get beautiful sceneries or how to get interesting images out of this effectively dead world? So, let's load up and have a go. And to answer that question fairly quickly, it's kind of like shooting fish in a barrel. It's a very beautiful game. And the thing is, this was made in 2017. So I suppose another aspect of this challenge is can you take beautiful pictures with old graphics as well? Legend. Um, I've been playing Skull and Bones for the last week. Probably two weeks, actually, so I'm... Not really remembering where I'm up to on here, so let's just get into the world and have a look. So this is my beautiful vehicle. I most certainly need to adjust the volumes. And while I'm doing that, I'll just let you know that um, I'm not going to catch you up on the story or anything like that, simply because... If it, the sale's still on on PlayStation, this is a very, very cheap game and well worth picking up. I've thoroughly enjoyed it so far. Um, let's just turn that onto headphones. Because that's what I'm playing it through right now. I'm going to adjust all the volumes so that my soft voice is not drowned out. Because on the other streaming platform that I was on, I was quite frequently told that I'm too quiet. So that should be good. Let's see if there's any other interesting settings that I can do here. No. I was just wondering if there's any way to improve the graphics of this game. Because I... I can't remember if this was late PS3 or early PS4. Although when I first played it... No, I genuinely don't remember. But let's set up a mission. Now, I've been a little bit OCD on this. So, I've... In this area, it's fully done. Um, I then moved to this area and... I have... I mean, these are just people you can talk to, so I may clear it up. I probably wouldn't recommend doing this. I think it's can spoil a game because you become a little bit o o overpowered. But it's just what I wanted to do when I was playing it. I'm trying to stretch the game out a little bit. So this is where I'm going next. So I am currently... Am I in Jeeps? 
place. Yeah, I'm at Jeets, so it's going to be a bit of a drive. So hopefully we'll see something worthy of a photo. But this is the, the land. As you can see, it's quite barren, but there's plenty of interesting rock features. There's a few like derelict buildings as well. And this is actually the bottom of an ocean. But I have thoroughly enjoyed this game. And considering I've already completed it, there's no nothing new for me. I still really enjoy the experience. Yeah, two birds, one stone. Or two flies, one clap, depending on what country you're in. But how are you all doing? I hope you've had a good week so far. I hope you don't work weekends. Oh, this guy, I'm just going to shoot him. No. Oh, now I'm going to get out so my mechanic can repair the car, and I'm going to give this guy a bit of a whooping. Ah, oh, it's too slow. It's too far for me to get that shot. Nope. Where's the... Oh, it is that button. Oh, these guys are good. I mean, he's not that good because I just whooped him. But even so, that was something to keep me occupied while the car gets repaired. Being that this is set in Australia, you get in the car on the correct side as far as us English people are concerned. But yeah, I had quite an interesting day. I went into the office, which is not something I normally do on a Friday. And it's strangely invigorating breaking a, a, a routine. Yeah, I actually quite enjoyed it, even though there was no one else in the office at my side uh, where I normally sit. And I didn't have all the creature comforts of working from home, i.e really good coffee but it was a pleasant day I mean it helped that it was actually a warm day which we don't tend to get in this country and so I had a, a nice walk at lunchtime as well so yeah all in all my day's been alright I've been enjoying playing Skull and Bones and let me know in the comments if you want that to be my next stream just to show you what that game is. Um, if you've got any questions, you can put them in chat, actually. Oh, actually, it's only me viewing at the moment, so... <laughs> put it in the comment if you're watching this after the, the event. Let's just... Because I don't actually remember how to do photo mode. It is that. Now, what I'm thinking is that this is I mean that's quite nice get a bit of an angle on there something like that and for this photo mode you have to bear in mind this is an old game so you have to just use a couple of key presses to get rid of the the user interface or the HUD whatever you want to call it um, so I'm going to get that picture and then we're going to go for what I intended to get in the first place, which was more of a, a shot like that. And I want to set it up so that the roof of the car is the centre of the screen. Something like that. And it is kind of framed by the bottom of the mountain range in the background. And the the road itself and then the the two rock features in the mid ground so i've still rather enjoyed Hello, that well hey how are we doing sir i hope you're keeping well i do 
owe you an update. Um, and I'll stop doing this so I can cut this out and um, do the description of the the picture and what I'm thinking afterwards. But um, yes, I'm still procrastinating. Oh mate, you're running out of time. Yeah, yeah, so it depends on how much you've got left on how long you've got left. But even so, as I say, sometimes a rest is is good for you and it will supercharge you. So hopefully you'll you'll pick it up and you'll fly through the rest of your training. But I mean, I've been playing Skull and Bones all week. So in a way, I've been procrastinating because I've not really done that many photos for Instagram. Following on from my reply. Well, can't really study for essays, which I have in less than a week. Oh, in that case, enjoy the nice weather. Really. If, you, if you're if you having nice weather. Yeah. Procrastinate. Recharge and rejuvenate. You should be fine. But yeah. With Skull and Bones. I'm enjoying it. But it certainly wasn't worth the 40 odd pound that I paid for it. It's live service, which is just always terrible. Um, the things that you hoped they would have bought across from Black Flag, they didn't. So, for example, when you used to take over a ship in Black Flag, you could go over it, kill all the crew personally, and then the ship was yours, whereas now it's just a cuts thing. Um... It's got a good photo mode that's hindered by the fact it's a live service, so you cannot pause it in any way, shape, or form. Um, I, I mean, I hate live service. But it's not broken. It's never crashed on me. So I'll say that. I'm actually, as you'll see from this game, I'm quite well suited to laid-back games. I feel that the just sailing is entertaining enough for me i'm trying to master the photo mode in it because as i say it is a good photo mode but um i think what will be best rather than me saying my opinions of it is next week i'll stream skull and bones and then after that i'm gonna start doing a game and, and just playing through a game again so that we have another series but yeah that's my update so far i'm enjoying it but i would probably recommend wait until it's 15 to 25 euro and then pick it up but it's not worth full price Got it. yeah so with this picture um i'm just looking through the settings it's a little bit difficult because my camera's in the way so this is exposure i believe by the effect of it you've got field of view which is your standard same as You'll in probably organs. not even try it oh yeah no i mean really for this game to come into its all you've got to have at least two other friends to play it with and it's a multiplayer game you can turn off pvp if you're not a PvP person, but it's it's all right on its own. But how the enemies scale up, you you have some seriously hardcore battles to try and progress, and sometimes you get blocked from an area because the the ships there are just too OP. Um, but, as I say, I don't regret buying it. I mean, that's partly why for, like, special events and so on, um, for gifts, I tend to ask for, like, PlayStation credits. So I can buy ga games that I didn't really want to buy myself. Um, so I I don't regret it at all. I mean, yes, it. if I had realised sooner that I was actually wanting to buy Sea of Thieves... Um, that's really as close to a, a regret as I have. But generally, I'm quite 
I'm quite happy with it. Okay, so I'm going for a, a low blur intensity. The depth of field, its focal distance I'm happy with, it's the actual um, depth itself I'm happy with. So we can have a look at filters and you've got your intensity slider, so I really like that. Um, and I'm trying to think what look I'm going for. Well, if you don't hate it, it's not waste then. Oh yeah, exactly. You know, I am enjoying the experience. Uh, I can see that it's going to be a grind, but I mean, it wouldn't be Ubisoft if it wasn't. And, you know, I've I played through Division 1, I played through Division 2, so I'm very used to that. Um, to some extent, Far Cry, I think that was them as well. Uh, so, yeah, it's not really a challenge, you know, a, a, an issue for me. So, as I say, I don't regret it. It's been a... It's kept me playing it for a week and... Well, two weeks. So, no, a week, sorry. And, yeah, I've not got bored. But, ooh... Oh, I like that. I'm going to drop the intensity, though. Just a tad. But I rather enjoy that. I may actually change my position in a little bit. What about Helldivas? Did you try it? No. No. I was... I, I was too busy playing the Skull and Bones. Because I, I thought about doing it yesterday. And I... I really fancied because I was I just got a stronger ship in Skull and Bones, so I just wanted to play that. Um, totally understandable. Yeah, well, you, you know what it's like. You get like that new game feeling. So uh, I am going to be playing it with my my friend over in France tomorrow. So as you said, it's a five minute tutorial. So I'll be able to smash through that and then play it with him. So yeah. I'm not concerned that I haven't done it as yet. Okay, I just want to set this up so that the head of the mechanic in the background um, is it's got a darker background so he stands out a little bit more. So I'm happy with that frame. So I'm just going to capture that image. So have you been playing anything at the moment, Ailey? Go. I've heard of you. The one who died, Lord Scrotus. The one who all that gas town aims to kill. The bringer of chaos and carnage. <laughs> or you be doing something a little bit more interesting in your time off. What content warning cuss my friends told me to, but for some reason we played it. Once and whenever I want to play, they don't. Oh, that's gutting, that is. I mean, it's one thing if, you know, they've got to do work or seeing family or something like that. But if it's because they don't want to, and they're the reason you bought the game or the content, that's a bit off. But other than that, I finished Dragon's Dogma 2 and started Dragon's Dogma 1. You must be an amazing gamer, because you get through games so much quicker than me. So, I mean, this one here, I've been playing it probably three or four weeks, and bearing in mind it's the second time round, so I already know what I'm doing. No, they just don't play anything that leak. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, I like to think I'm a moderately established gamer, but yeah, you seem to be a ne another level, mate. Oh. 
got to be very careful because I've got a horrible suspicion this is a minefield. So let's just walk slowly just in case I come across a mine. I mean, there's no derelict vehicles, so it should be okay. Dragon's Dogma is just one of the game I got addicted to, even though it's not that good. Oh, really? Because, <laughs> um, who was it? Canon on the other streaming platform, she was playing it. Um, I mean, she's, like myself, a virtual photographer. But unlike my stream, she plays the games more and then takes the occasional shot. But she seemed to be enjoying it massively. I mean, unfortunately, being that she's in America, I don't get to see much of the game, so I don't really know what it what it was like from what I saw, because she comes on round about the time I'm ready for bed. The gameplay was fantastic, but the story is catastrophe. Oh no! But then, Skull and Bones. There really isn't a story. At all. Uh, let's go here and then work around clockwise. But then sometimes the gameplay just holds it. As you say, you, you were addicted to it, so it's definitely got something going. And do you think there'll be any DLC for it? Oh, it's there. Okay. Roadkill. No, he hasn't seen me. Oh! But the gameplay is so good that it was actually good. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's cool. Because, I mean, quite frankly, that sums up most of the... Uh, Games of the 80s and 90s. There should be some DLC in some time, but don't know when or what it should be. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I just couldn't deal with that guy. I couldn't be bothered. Because, yeah, I mean, one thing I'll say about Skull and Bones is it's meant to be supported for a long time. I kind of want that wheel in there, so let's do two pictures. Um, oh yeah, wrong, <laughs> wrong photo mode. Hang on a second. So I'll set the wheel up as the main. It's basically the centre of this shot. If you ever need a subject to be, I'm go grab some food. BRB. All right, man. See you in a bit. So yeah, if you ever want a a smaller object to be the main subject when you've got something bigger in front, dead center of your picture always works. Um, and then you can just adjust the the actual focus focal distance. And that will increase the attention. So it'll be round about here. And then I'm just going to drop the intensity a little bit. Okay, no, I'm still going to keep it quite low. But that is as best as I can get. And I'm going to go to capture image because I noticed some of the flames are disappearing under the car. So that's one picture. And then we need to adjust the uh, depth of f field, fo uh, focal distance. I'm just going to call it focal distance because that's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to say that all the time. So increase that. Drop this. Actually, I'm going to drop the depth of field. Wow, that's a huge depth of field. Oh, 
Okay. It looks like that car will always be in focus. So I'm just keep. Um, I mean, I'm looking at the distance, and it makes no difference having the two of them. So I'm just going to take that off and frame this a little bit better, actually, because I don't like how his hand is with that window. And raise up a little bit. That was a little bit too extreme. And it's odd, because in Atomic Heart... This type of control was very difficult, but it seems to work with this game. I don't know if it, subconsciously I'm making allowances for the fact that it's quite old. But it really doesn't annoy me. I think it's because it's easier to judge the movement. Um... And go up a little bit more, a little bit further away, and this is basically one of those moments where I really wish I'd taken this photo first and then moved around to get the the wheel in the background. But that does remind me that it was around about here. I think the shot was. I need to drop. Just a little bit lower. Something like that. Come in a bit closer, maybe. Have that light just between. No, that clutters it a little bit too much. Something like that, maybe. I want it quite dark, so I'm looking at this angle. And then I want to increase... Depth of view, maybe not that extreme. About there. Let's have a look. No, so his angle is all wrong. I think I want to be much further down. Him a little bit straighter. And I'm going to raise just a tad. What I want is his shoulder to be in line with the top of the cliff behind him so a little bit I haven't quite achieved it but I'm actually quite happy with that so I'm going to get that shot and stop mucking around I mean Yes, I wish I had got the picture as the car was exploding. Where on earth is this camp? I think I've, I'm going to drive it. I'm not going to ru run all of that way. So it's either above or I've missed a cave. But I don't think I did. Yes, I was talking, but I don't think I've missed it. And these tyre tracks tell me that I may be on the right path. So let's have a look. Yeah, this looks like a camp to me. I'm going, wait here. Of course, of course I will. There's no way you can deactivate these without stepping in them, and I don't recommend doing that. Oh, misjudged that. Ah. Now, if you do a perfect parry, you actually get the weapon, but... As you can see, I was struggling with that a little bit. Yes, proper powerhouse that. I, want, I do actually want to have that person in there. I'm going to adjust the sugar. Wrong button. 
And also my eye is stinging, so please excuse me a moment. It's just dry eyes, and it is still stinging a little bit, but we will persevere. Because there's no way I'm going to stop a stream to do some eye drops. And I'm not fussed about missing that shot, there will be others. Cool. So these are parts where you can do up the settlements. No, this is still stinging a little bit. I am terribly sorry about this, people. Hopefully that's sorted. I'm sorry to do something like that on, on the stream, but, well, at least you know I'm human. Oh, canteen's full. That's cool. Really, I'm just looting all these areas. And we got a new body. Oh, this is cool. I mean, I'm rather liking the the body I've currently got on my car. It reminds me of a Rolls Royce. Radio. The wild hunt. But this is such a beautiful world. Well, I've already got a spare can, so I might as well just do a refuel. Even though I think my car's fine. Alright. <laughs> these can be useful, these cans. Yeah, look at that landscape. And those clouds, I think that's what makes this game. I'm going to experiment. I've not actually taken this shot before. I've taken one of him getting out of the car, but not one getting into it. Something like that. Now, I quite like the framing. I'm going to go more for, again, the roof of the car at the centre of the the screen. Um, I probably don't need that much cliff face. So I'm going to be straight on his angle to his back. I feel that it does need a little bit of brightening. Filters wise, let's just go through the different settings. So default, this is just your normal. And Road trip, aquatic, which is kind of ironic being that this is a, a scorched earth. Burnt polar, dirty beast, which just adds a bit of green to it. And you'll notice that if you look at the cliff to the left, which isn't too bad. It brings out quite a bit of details. Effectively, it raises the shadows. Kokoda. I assume that that's a film type. I'm pretty sure it is. 
um, mellow yellow, noir. I can see where they're coming from. I mean, bearing in mind these are not full intensity, so there's noir. For that to work, you'd need to have a shot with very strong contrast, but more on the black side. So I might play with that, but I was quite happy with this sort of intensity. Pastel graphics, polarizer, posterize. It's almost turned it 16 bit. Purple haze, that's kind of like your, um, your tilt or tint, sorry. Raspberry sauce, I haven't got a clue. Red homage, sepia. Teal and orange, um, a lot of photographers like that. So the teal is more in your shadows and the orange is more in your highlights. Winter blues, but no, we're just going to stick with default. I'm quite happy with that. I will most likely drop the saturation a little bit on this shot, but very slightly because I rather like all of the different colours in the back of the, the car. Contrast nicely against the the sand and the the sky. So let's carry on to the next location. So yes, I'll need to clear that out, but I have to change vehicles to do that. So while I'm here, let's go on to a proper mission type thing. Oh, he's not going to be happy about this. War party. Us huh. Last time I did that, he said he hated me. <laughs> I'm talking about the mechanic in the back. Scumbucket or something like that, his name is. No, wrong one. Where's the shooter? Well, that's the question. There's no handbrake in this game, by the way. He should have a tower or something. Hey, he's over there. I see him. And these are all of the defences that I need to clear. Wow, this is an intense area. Where's that last one? Oh, there's a tower around there. At least I'm pretty safe for now. Although we've got to get past this thing. That'll be interesting. This has got an insane amount of defences, so I'm imagining it to be quite a big base. And then the last defence will be a oil thing somewhere there which is very well hidden can I no 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 we've got to get out and deal with this myself so let's park up the car I mean there are always other ways in in fact, I think I've seen one, so I'm going to explore that. Keep the car safe. Yes, it's my secret place. Although it's a big red barrel and I really, 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 really want to shoot it. <laughs> 
such a dumb idea. <laughs> Am I sad I did it? No, I regret nothing. Me make thing go boom. Good. Look at that. Okay. I want to go slightly higher. Do a little bit better framed. Maybe a little bit lower. Now I've changed the angle. Something like that. I think it's a nice shot. I'm going to take this. Because I've learnt my lesson from that earlier shot. And then we're going to drop a little bit further down. Nope. And that's why I took the shot first. Because what I'm wanting to do. Is fill the frame sort of shot. That's the right angle. And we only really want about an inch above his head to be free and the rest to be him. So something like this. Ah, no. About there is what I want. I just needed a little bit more brightness in it. And again, this is an old game, so, you know, you're not going to have photo photorealistic pictures, but they're going to be good. Just because of the lighting. It is a good character development. Uh, not development, but a good character model. I mean, you wouldn't expect him to be the character in the film. There's only so much license in new people who can afford, even though it is Warner Brothers. But yeah, they did a fantastic job on this game. Right. It's time to fight. Let's see if we can get an action shot. Damn, that was not what I was going for. Although I rather like that shocked look on his face. Although that looks like wonder more than anything else. You know, like a kid in a, a sweet shop or a toy shop. That's what that expression looks like to me. There's quite a bit going on, but I rather like that. Because it is such a busy picture, we're going for a bit of blur. The focal distance has to be really close. That is a huge depth of field. Really, I just want that guy in the background to be a bit blurred. Like that. So that's fine. We've now got the point perfectly set up. We're just going to drop the blur intensity just to sort of put him back in his environment. Because as you can see, there's a bit of blur around his outline. And we want to have that sharpness there. It's ruined a lot of what I've just worked so hard on, in all honesty. Which tells me maybe I need to put that back. This is insane. How is that even a thing? That, I think, is the best I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. 
Right, back into the action. Whoa! I forgot I was already on half health because I blew myself up. Brutal. This may not end well. Right, hang on. I've got a plan. I think it's up. <laughs> I'm gonna die soon. Yeah. <laughs> you could argue that I'd given up before I died. And trust me, in a real life situation, I would have put more effort into it, but it's just the game. I got a interesting shot. It wasn't quite the one I was looking for, and I'm going to try for it again, but I'm probably going to... I'm certainly going through the front door this time. I'm not going through all that nonsense. But um, I'm going to try and clear everyone out apart from that yellow guy. And then that way, I should be able to... Um, get the shot that I want. Theoretically. Because I did such a great job last time. Loads of fuel, good to know. But how are you all doing? I hope you're keeping well. We've had good weeks. Oh, I should have done a parry then. I just want to say to everyone who's new to the stream, uh, there's quite the delay on chat, so I'm not ignoring you, but all of my chat gets read out to me, so wait till I hear what you've had your message, and I will respond to you. These guys are all riled up right now. Oops. Let's get rid of these lower level guys first. Oh, my character is pissed. And about to die. <laughs> okay. Go on, fella. Have a drink. Am I going to survive? Let's get out of here. Retreat and regroup. We've got some health. Now I can get rid of this one. This one I will skip punish if I had the chance. Where's the yellow guy? I really hope I haven't... Oh no, I haven't. It's fine. I don't know where he is. Oh, did I beat him up by accident? That would suck. Right, where's yellow dude? Here he is. So we're going to just get out of the way. Do a... Nope. Come on, you're meant to avoid these. Something like that is what I want. 
I want the focus on the fist. Bit of blur intensity. Quite a bit of blur intensity. Depth of field a little bit low. I don't think that's made any difference. So all the background is clear. The two characters are in the main focus. So let's adjust a little bit. Have him more there. Because I still want to have Max in this shot. But I need to narrow it down a little bit. And that's just not going to work there. So I'm going to drop it back a bit. Because I want the fist to be on the bottom right hand intersection. I think would probably be better as more of an aerial shot, maybe. About there. I need to. Has this got to tilt? Oh, it's that way. Something like that. Maybe a bit more. Drop this back to about there so I still feel that the field of view works the blood on the outside doesn't matter that won't feature in that shot um, I do need to raise up more if I can because at the moment I th believe the top left hand intersection of the the grid the rule of thirds will be like the his shoulder just in the center at the of his back, upper back. And the fist should feature. It probably won't with that kind of tilt. So that would probably work. And again, it's guessing because no game has the rule of thirds so that you can make it portrait, especially considering I have this in the landscape aspect so it is a bit of a guessing game but let's give that a go we'll do that this here video mode i believe is where you can just record what you're doing so we're going to begin session let's have a look because i've not actually done this so play with games with your own filters and settings and capture video clips using the share button and press share to access your recorded captures. Connect a second wireless controller and have a friend control a camera during gameplay. That's fantastic. I don't have a friend. Um, well, I do have friends, but I don't have a friend with me. And I also don't have friends who have one of these controllers because all of my friends are Xbox. So we're going to drop out of that, change that back to photo mode and finish off this fight. But the filter's still on. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we've got to adjust that. No, there is no filter. Ah. For some reason it went a little bit noir. I rather like these guys. I always feel bad about killing them, but not bad enough to not kill them. Don't judge. You should see the other things this guy has to eat. Remember, it's a dead world. There's no oceans. Therefore, there are no rains. No crops. Anything like that. All he's got is what's left over from civilization. Back. Went for some beer to the shop, so it took some time. Hey, no worries, man. 
the end of the day, you are back. Uh, missed a couple of pictures and sort of side missions. This is more of a, um, a camp that I'm just doing. But you're still pretty quick, so that's good going. I wonder if I can just... I know. Bit of a walk, but it's well worth doing. I'm about to make things go boom. I have a plan. I don't know if it will work. But I'm going to set this up, hopefully. Oh, that's an even better plan. <laughs> okay, I was, I was going to set up a shop, but no, I'm going to set up something that's so incredibly immature, but hopefully quite fun. If this works, I'm going to be such a happy chappy. <laughs> I really am. I don't know if the distance is right. So I'm just going to set this one up. I definitely want it here. Got it. <laughs> It didn't do what I wanted it to do. I was hoping to do a chain reaction so it would blow up the can underneath him. But I'm still quite happy with that. Oh yeah, photo mode. Let's drop down a tad. He's got a little bit of a smirk on his face. I'm liking that. We need to adjust the blur intensity. See, you can do nothing the humongous rules the wasteland. Oh, my days! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> How are we doing, bro? I hope you're keeping well. <laughs> I could always count on you to quote such a brilliant film. How are you doing? I hope you're keeping well. I'm being incredibly immature and enjoying it. A bit more intensity on that. Something like that. So let's capture that image. Oh, it did work! Ha! Ha ha! Sorry, bro, you missed it. Um, I had set up a, a fuel can underneath that crier. The guy who was... Like, like that in the background. Blew up the tanks behind it and it did a chain reaction, so it did blow him up. I'm well happy with that. <laughs> I know it's immature, but hey, you got to do these things. So this is just a normal camp. It's just one of those side mission things that I'm doing at the moment. And there's loads in this game to do. I can't believe that I only paid £3 for this. It's absolutely insane. Sales are great. Oh. Well, I was going to go and get another fuel can to blow this up. But there's a, a, for, a storm going through at the moment. So while it's doing that... Because I've been nattering away about this game, and I don't really know the answer. I know this came out in 2017, but... I'm going to find out which consoles Mad Max was on. PS4. Yeah. So, 
as I said, on the PlayStation Store, I paid about £3, and I swear it's the March sale, which is still going, I believe. So have a look, see if you yeah, can get I'm it. I'm not that glad to be here. Ah, oh my god, yeah, because you weren't able to, to join us properly last week. So it's always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much for joining. It's going to be a little bit of a quiet moment because, well, it's a little bit mental out there. I might even try for a... No, I don't want that shot. No. Because there's no posing in this. So I'm going for a bit of a slightly blurred shot. Um... Now I rather liked that. And what I'm thinking is how to place him. Yes, I rather like that feature on the left, which is like that little hut thing, um, which is more of a silhouette right now. So I could potentially have him placed on the left. Like the, the left third of the, the grid, which I don't think this game... Oh, what was that? My chat's a little bit slow. <laughs> Big bad <badder> boom. <laughs> That's it. I'm a simple man. If it red barrels, it's a good game for me. Top tier. Um, I'm just going to capture this. I like that he's slightly... Bl I like how the whole picture is slightly blurred. Because I've got the depth of field, or the focal distance, really close. So he's slightly out. But I like that. I could potentially have him in an empty space, so him on the right third, or I may have that feature on the left. It depends on how the you know, the cave entrance bit l looks in, in a close portrait crop. So that may change. I think I'm actually quite safe to go around, but the problem is, is I cannot go and collect the can that's there. That's really cool. But I can go in here. But yeah, I'm in a good mood at the moment. It's been a really lovely weather. Yeah, I... Yes, for I got it for your birthday. You did. That's right. And I was very grateful. I played it all the way through. It is basically the only game I played at that time. So when I saw it in the sale, I just had to have it. Especially for that price. You just can't go wrong. Oh. <laughs> Why did you punch your friend? Oh, I missed the parry. Oh, right. Well, you're still getting a whooping. That was a cool little move. Did a stop kick on the knee. Which is the reason why the karate falls... Uh, um, front, like, front stance is the way it is. So you can't kick through the knee. Because knees aren't, kneecaps aren't meant to go that way. Oh, definitely need to do this. I hope you guys can hear me well enough, because it is a little bit on the loud side.
Right, I'm going to blow up that door. Actually, before I do that, my health is precariously low. And while he's having a sup, cheers. Get the rest of the water. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, man. Really is a great game. And it has aged really well, which I cannot say for a lot of games that I loved in the past. Yeah, the graphics aren't what they used to be, but... Yeah, games have moved on a tremendous way, uh, leaps and bounds. But um, it is just got a great gameplay, a great atmosphere to it. That's why there were so many fuel tanks here. I just wanted to look in this area first before moving on. Big bottle boom. There must be something interesting in there for them to do this. But before we do that, let's have a look at the room we just blew up the door for. Don't worry, you're coming through, okay? Cool. That's good to hear. Thank you. Oh, got to be careful. They've got some man trap... Um, bear traps here. Oh, these guys are mental. Little feral dudes. They take very little beatings. Where the hell are these things come from? Oh, is it Matey Boy here? Oh, that's where. Okay. That's a good thing about action shots in games like this. All you have to do is just randomly press pause and then explore around a little bit. Because that looks like a little bit of Wing Chun there. Some interesting scar tattoos. It's definitely something that needs to be a feature. So I think that's one. We lose a lot of the battle, but I just find that those tattoos are interesting enough to justify the loss of action. It does very much change the narrative. So I will most likely just fill the frame and adjust the filter. Something like that. And then see if we can get a good action shot. And what I'm doing now is I'm using his arm and body to frame Max. I feel that that is a little bit too dark, so we're going to raise that a lot. Blur intensity is going to be massive. Um, 
depth of field minimum oh as small as possible now we definitely need some features in the hand so I'm this reminds me of something between beyond the thunderdome and fury road yes i mean even though it's warner brothers it's none of the stories it is sort of an amalgamation it's it's like an extension of the world um like the mad max world or universe whatever you want to call it But I fully understand because the um, the kids. And of course the uh, characters in the Thunderdome. I really liked the Mad Max series. Like all of them. I just enjoyed it. And I think they've just... Top go now. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank Sign. you very much. You have a good night, Leaf. Thanks very much for joining us, mate. Okay. Is that... No, that's not an explosion thing. But if I need to blow something up, I've got a thunder stick. Here we go. Just want to see if there's anything worth picking up. And yeah, we've got more thunder sticks. Yeah, they're they're dead. Yeah, this is pretty gross. But yeah, there's not much in the way of food around here. So uh, flies and well, there's only flies. There's no animals. This is the way in. I haven't finished this, surely. I've missed something. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to get a thunder stick. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but there was a ladder on the entrance to this section. So I'm just going to go for that. Damn. Nope, that is not a thing. How do I get to there? What have I missed? And bear in mind, this is just an outpost. It's not a proper mission. I missed that. I think that was a sniper pot. <laughs> He's a little bit mental, is our guy. Oh, of course. No, that was just a way in. But I've still missed something. Because it hasn't said it's 100% yet. Oh, it is just the transfer tanks. That's all I need to do. Okay, we can do this. We've got that one there. Pretty sure we did the one in here. For me, it was the first and second Mad Max movies. Oh, yes. They were great, but I still enjoyed the third one. I just thought they were all very well crafted. The first one was very brutal, similar to how the contrast between Terminator and Terminator 2. They're two very different films. 
one was far more brutal, one was more action, and that was one and two. Three was more story um, than portraying a dotopian future. It was more like a hope story, but I mean, I think I was probably just at the right age to be susceptible to that and really appreciate it. What on earth? How am I missing two tanks? Two explosion opportunities. So that would lead me to believe there's a whole area I need to get to. So I am going to throw this at those um, panels at the end of this room. Just because it looks suspicious. Ha! There we go. If in doubt, blow stuff up. So, on to the next one. So, did you get to enjoy any of the sunshine, bro? Oh, wow, look at that. don't like the, how that hoop is though so we are going to come out of this area we lose some of the filter but we're going to lose that from the in fact I'm not even going to have Max in this shot I just don't feel it needs it that's what we're going for I'm going to turn off blur intensity because it doesn't need it maybe a little bit and try and get rid of some of the foreground that intensity is a bit much and let's experiment a little bit and we're gonna go with the orange no that doesn't work um no, I want more of an orange. Maybe mellow yellow? No, I definitely want orange. Dirty Beast is quite good. Nope. None of the filters work. Okay, so a bit more. Drop that intensity a lot. About there. Quite happy with that blur. Gonna grab this shot. Yes, the moon is not in the right position, but I really liked the angle of that sun. I mean the the car. Where I did it was windy but warm. Yeah, that's exactly it. I actually had to walk around the local lake because I, I was in the office today, and it was lovely. It's nice. I mean, I had a proper pace on, and um, so the wind kind of helped keep me from sweating too much. But it was just a lovely day. It's such a change considering how it's been recently.
I don't think we've got it for long. I think by Sunday it'll go back to wet and cold, but um, for now, I'm enjoying it. Back there. I'm not going to muck around with this shot. I don't think it needs anything other than what it's got. The problem is there's a slight movement, so I'm going to go into capture mode. Nope. It was actually fine there. So capture mode. And it's simply because of the winding road. The car should be on the bottom third, or at least it will be once I've cropped it. But I rather enjoy that. I may even place it on the bottom left intersection of the grid. But we'll see how it goes. But I like that image, as I say. So where are we going next? Because we've still got a fair bit of time. No. There's no cliff to wind him off. Oh! No, these guys need a proper beating. That's it. Oh, missed him. He's doing me more damage than me, vice versa. I'm just having a fight for the sake of it, really. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. The problem is, is I'm so overpowered. They had to happen sometime. That's it. Yeah. Finish him. He. <laughs> I made him go boom. Might actually try that again. Oh, you just disappeared. Chicken. I uh, might as well pick up the scrap while I'm here. Give... <laughs> I really can't remember his name. But it gives him a chance to fix me car for me. Give us a minute, bro. I can't hold it any longer. I'll be back in a bit. Sorry about that. Was that someone attacking me? Or have they disappeared? Right, we're going to go to that camp rather than muck around with these guys. Oh yeah, you weren't here when you had the conversation with Ainley. Um, I'm quite enjoying Skull and Bones. I don't think it's worth the price, but it is actually quite enjoyable. I don't regret buying it. Shooter. 
This is kind of cool. Damn. I was going to try and park in there. I am still going to try and park in there. I don't know if it will make an interesting picture, but I'm going for it. Parking in the rib cage of a whale. Are you driving a Ford Falcon XB GT? No. That... I'm not willing to say on stream. Um, simply because there may be people who are watching this just to find out about the game. Now, I'm quite far into the game. Not massively, because I've been doing every single um, like little challenge and side mission and so on. But I don't want to give anything away. Um, I can talk to you offline and, and answer that question. But yeah, I can't do that here. Sorry. You'll have to wait a little bit to find that one out. That's the shot I was going for. Cool. And that's a very simple shot. Yes, they were trying to bump you off. Yeah, ah, fair enough. But now I'm in a... A car that was built by the mechanic. So he had built the frame and he manages like the engine and stuff like that even though that I acquired later on and still continue to upgrade but the body for me it's got a bit of a Rolls Royce look to it or Jaguar I haven't quite decided but you can have different bodies um, so, yeah, you have, let me see, preview. See, so, this is the furnace. And I can't quite tell what it's based off. That's got a bit of a Chevrolet back end to it. Corvette front. The the flared arches sort of reminds me of the Stingray. Um, you have clearly a Mustang. Then the Falcon. Stylized, of course, it's not the exact thing. Um... I rather like this one because I've always been a sucker for this sort of style with those arches. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. But I went for... I swear that's a Rolls Royce, actually. With a name called Die Roller. <laughs> Probably is. Right. Let's carry on. Have you no remembrance of where the steering wheel is located? <laughs> Fair. One sent by the angel. Surely you test my faith. <laughs> He's a little bit mad, but he makes me chuckle. And he keeps my car in tip top condition. So let's actually go to the checkpoint that I was first intended to. That's actually a poignant little area, because it it's, it's quite deep. It was probably the last part of the ocean that actually had any water in. And that's why all the, the whales went there to die. It's the only place they could breathe. Well, stay wet, I should say. They could breathe 
normal air because they're mammals. And again, it's little things like that. Yeah. Let's say it. There was a Jag that has very similar style front end. But I think with that light cluster, definitely. What a move! <laughs> he finished it with a Rochambeau. I feel bad because basically I'm going to people's homesteads and then beating the life out of them and <laughs> nicking their stuff. Yeah, in Zelda, I wouldn't dream of looting or opening up or taking anything from a house where that's occupied. This is the only game where I'd do this sort of thing. Just for the sake of 100% in a game. I'm such a callous man. Right, you happy? I've got in the right side of the car. And then press the turbo straight away. Let's just get out of here. Choose this location, because that's a sharpshooter. Very simple kill. guys do not even interest me oh it didn't get it oh there we go you fool of a toque you won't get me Nope, that's not going to do it. they got too much armour for that to work. Oh. Let's strip them of their protection before I take all that stuff. Ah, uh, missed the opportunity. They've really got me licked, these guys. There's one disabled. I don't even know what this guy's doing. That surprised him. All this while dealing with us trying to avoid a sharpshooter. Come on, mate. Come back to life. Give me some ammo. him. I am going to have to get out of this car soon. <laughs> Let's do this. Hee <laughs> hee. 
I even let him take a shot. Just so I can beat him up against his own car. There's the sniper. Can I get him from here? No. Okay. But anyway, after that little distraction, let's go and do this. Actually, no. We're going to do this. Saves me going all the way up there. You had your shot. This is mine. I <laughs> says Scud Bucket. When it gets brighter, I just want to show you guys a few things about taking photos in such a barren land. Or well, maybe I ought to do it in this. And it is just the textures more than anything else that can really make an interesting picture. Because it is such a broken land, it's all parched. So we're going to work with the field of view because I, I want the car to be in focus. It doesn't seem to want to be in focus. It can't be that far away. Come on now. So we'll go this way and I'll have a little sup of my drink. It may actually be motion blur thinking about it. Nope. It was just too far away. So about there. And what I'm looking at um, while I was doing it, because the car is in focus, that's achieved my target. It's like, where do I want that blur to stop? So I originally took this photo because I liked the red on the ground. It contrasts really well with the black, especially the bits that have been lifting up. And with the sort of bluish hues to the, the shadows. So that's what I'm picking as a, a stopping point because I don't want this foreground that's to be... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a little love tap, honestly. It was in best grace. But... um. Yes, yeah, so that's why I'm, I've got the very foreground blurred, the mid-ground being the, like the reddish and blue ground, and then the background being the car itself and the, uh, the cliff face behind it. So I'm going to get that picture. And then I'm going to get out and loot this location. I'm going, wait here. at these headphones right and I don't know if I mentioned this before but I adjust these not because the headphones are uncomfortable it's just I find with glasses um, they just dig in a little bit I mean these are new glasses they're far more comfortable than the ones I replaced and I may just be a little bit too overly sensitive Let's just grab that. And my belt is full because I didn't use a shiv on this guy because it would be slap bang out of order. 
actually killing these people, looting them, just because they happened to live in a place that had stuff that I wanted. He says, eating their food as well. But yeah, that's why I keep adjusting these. And also, they're really good sound quality. So I want to maximise that by making sure I've got a good seal on my head. Because they are actually comfortable. They fit my ears really well. I don't have massive ears, but... You know. They're not dainty either. And these are really comfy. These pads. If I didn't have to wear glasses, these would be amazing to wear. And I'm sure it will settle down because these are brand new. I l picked them up Wednesday. And so they've just got to give a little bit with uh, some adjustment. And my... The world is what happens when you lob nukes around like stones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's no water. I'm stunned there's still an atmosphere. It will take a long time for the world to recover. I mean, the fact that I'm driving around on an ocean floor. Craziness. But as you say, we were in this world very irresponsible with nuclear weapons. That'll do it. Yeah, he slung lead. I slung a whole car. I win. Ah, oh, it's the weekend. So good. I'll probably try and get out and do some photos. Even if I don't, I'm just happy that it's going to be slightly warmer. I might even have a lie-in. We'll see how it goes. Because I'm not always good at that sort of thing. Although I think Sunday... It was like 20 to 11 when I woke up. Which was very, very unlike me. I mean, there's not even any reason for me to wake up early on a Saturday. I just naturally do. Because... Um, these videos, what these streams, they're not actually. I'm not able to download them till about half ten in the morning, um, GMT. So I, I could easily have a lie in before downloading and starting editing my video. I'll have a look at that, but I don't think there's actually anything I need. Because that's. Oh, is that a mission? There's certainly some information here. Yeah, I think next stream I'm going to be doing Sea and Bones, just to sh Skull and Bones, sorry, just to show everyone what it's like. As you wish. Back. This place is prime pickings for raiders, poachers, scavengers, nah. murderers. I don't like them. Yell us, smell us. Yeah, let me know when you see the Titanic. Ha ha. <laughs> Still an owl yelling. It's just not right. Now, I'm the old man. I think I saw that in Ghostbusters you too. Split this stuff down the middle. Oh dear. Better get in the car before he hits me. These douchebags again. I'm just going to outrun them. 
hopefully. Oh. That's interesting. Still got something here. going to possibly take me back to where I just was, but I swear I said I was 100% completed. Right, let's have a look, see if there's any entrances, any way up. Here we are. Park up a tad. Let my guy do his repairs. Hmm. I never want to walk in that water. It does not look healthy. Got this one here. I'm sure there'll be something in here. No, just some dead people. Sometimes they lay these out in very poetic ways. So I've found a couple hugging. A couple that obviously died together in bed. Hmm. The treasure of food. Freely walking and breathing. Yeah, these things seem... Must be bitter to him. Because, of course, he's the generation who knew what it was like before everything got nuked. Is that everything? I've only got one lot of scrap. I mean, there's nothing to tell me there's anything more, but normally it says 100%. I mean, I accept I'm tired and I may have missed that. But I don't think I did. But, again, the map is showing that it's finished, so I'm just going to assume and carry on. It's not like it's important to the game. I just like to clear an area up before moving to another one. And I am going to go... I'll sort that out, actually, after this. And that may actually be off-stream, because we're getting to that time. There's something about the sickly nature of that green that means I just don't want to take a picture of it. But other people may make a really good picture out of that, so that's fine. And there are some great photographers who do play this game. If you're on Instagram, well worth checking out the virtual community po um virtual photography community you will m generally most games that have a photo mode you will find some great examples or shots taken of games that you may not have heard of may not have heard of sorry and of course games that I've played but Everyone's got their different styles when they take pictures. Okay, let's get...
get out. But yeah, I think Skull and Bones will be the last stream that's just random streams that I've been doing, just showing you how to take photos in different game types. And or how I approach photos in different game types. So that'll probably be the last one. I'm thinking of playing Requiem, um, A Plague's Tale. Like playing through that game. Because I have finished Atomic Hearts. So I'm not going back to that. So those who were following that series, I'm terribly sorry. It's just it wasn't conducive to virtual photography. Great game, don't get me wrong. But there was just a constant flood of enemies and that makes it very difficult to take pictures. But yeah. I think we Did you hear that? I think we've got time to have a bit of an explore because these just keep to seem to be keep popping up. That worries me. Did I miss something? I definitely finished that. Oh, it's over there, that's why. So we're obviously going to go to this one. So yeah, we'll do this last camp, then... I'm going to end the stream there, so I'll do my um, closing speech for the the video, and then I'll say goodbye to you all. Actually, dude, I say to you all, it's just me and you. <laughs> That's all. You're the only one watching. But you'll still get my goodbye. You've good. taken some good snaps yourself. Thank you, mate. I'm glad you enjoy them. Because I certainly do. There's a lot to learn. And I had actually... watched a lot of YouTube videos from photographers. And that's how I've sort of got to the level that I'm at um, and there's also the reason why I do this is so people starting their virtual photography journey have some resource to at least sort of get some ideas and inspiration for there's a great guy called um, Shinobi virtual photographer who's very much worth checking out I mainly just document my journey in becoming a virtual photographer and, and hopefully improving. So, I am more than happy to try and build this community and be a resource for people to learn about the hobby can't get to that yeah like like my music I take pictures that I enjoy it is moderately selfish but um, I feel it's the best approach because if you like it there will be people out there who enjoy it too and, and that's where I go for that uh, the approach that I take and it's the same as with music if you enjoy what you create you put more into it and so others will like it too but I'm just going to do my, my closing speech and then I'll say goodbye to you as well so I hope you enjoyed this this video I have also hope that I've managed to portray some of the things that you can do in quite a barren world from using textures to using filters and some of the structures around uh, using the sky as well there's plenty of elements also 
things that you will already be familiar with would be like action scenes and things like that. So I hope you did enjoy it. And remember to like and subscribe. It's hopefully see some more of this content just so you also get notifications when I make videos or go live on, on the stream. Uh, you can check out all of the pictures that I edit from this stream and offline Bastards on approaching. my Instagram page which is also King of Etiquette. And remember, we say goodbye so we can say hello again. Goodbye. And to you bro, I hope to see you soon. I most likely will see you very, very soon. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll catch you in the next one. So, goodbye everyone.